Okay, so what we're doing, we're digging a hole with the excavator. We're gonna dig it down to the bottom, six, seven feet. This is going to go in. I have some drill bits. We're gonna drill a series of holes in here. We're gonna put some mesh, and then we're gonna wrap that in filter cloth so no dirt gets in here. This is for the utility room. And what is going on is I need a place to discharge the washing machine water or any other water that we may have in there. And obviously I don't want it on the ground, so it's like a gray water. This is what we're doing. So the hole is almost dug. There, that's the pipe that's gonna come out with the water and down into the drum. So I put a series of holes here. And then I put a bunch of holes right on the edge. These are more or less backup. If these ever plug up or something, then we have more. I might even put one more row up here, just in case. But the more holes that are in this drum, the weaker it gets. So when I fill it in, I don't want it to collapse. doing everything with one hand. Let's see if this contraption is going to work. So we have a bucket of water. Let's see. Okay, I got a little bit of gravel down here. And, uh, okay, hold on a sec. Right. Now, I'm just gonna level this out a little bit. And so the pipe comes here. So we're gonna do is we're gonna set it here and then we're gonna dump that and slowly put gravel in here. And the key to this is, is try not to squish the tank. Now, I do have some plumbing stuff. I'm gonna try to roughly plumb it so that I know we're good. Now is the time to adjust if we're going to adjust. Good. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a plywood top, put a plywood top on this so that the pipe comes down and sits in there nicely. So, so far things are looking good. So I'll come down to this little hole. What we're going to do is I'm going to measure from there. here so I think we'll do is we'll come down to there with the pipe and then shoot it off in here like this I'm gonna have to 
dig that out a little bit, for sure, which is okay. A shorter, but whatever. I think we get the excavator and we start bringing some gravel and just lightly putting it in here. And then we'll adjust this for level. We're getting some gravel down here. empty so let's see oh it's draining like crazy man it's draining out of there like nothing i didn't think it was going to work that well that is so awesome let's get back to work See it? Now, I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. Let's fasten this down with some screws. All right, let's see what happens here. too short you gotta be kidding me no seriously well that's a freaking fail oh yeah 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 i can't believe that i don't know are we gonna get lucky we're gonna get lucky. I can't believe it. Okay. Lots of glue. Oh, just. We're just making this. Actually, hang on a second. No, I got an idea. I do to extend that. Can I put that down there? Nope. Shit. Okay, so, so that goes down there. Let's see. I wonder if I can get this down there. I think. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Hold on now. We 
just made something happen here, people. We're gonna get lucky. Okay, well, the battery went dead. Anyway, we're in here stalling. Everything is good. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a screw and I'm gonna put it in here. <laughs> Just in case when I bury it, it stays. I'm gonna put some filter cloth around this. And there. What do you think? That should keep everything else out. I don't want to wreck this, so we're gonna to have to go nice and slow. So I'll put you on a time lapse, enjoy it, and we'll see what happens here. Good morning well today we have to open up this box it's from moon cool quickly get into this and i'll show you what it is we have it out of the box and this thing was packed extremely well so if you have a look at the instructions i'll put this in the screen so you can see but it's i'll put this on a time lapse I'm not going to walk you through it. This I just looked at this. This is about as easy as it gets. Driving around on ice and this thing's working pretty good. Pretty impressed actually. As you saw, I just drove it around. So far, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to give you a different review in a different video in maybe a month from now because I can't really drive this one day and give you an honest view, an honest review. But what I can do is I am very familiar with e-bikes. I've owned one for five years. I know a lot of the things that you're looking for in a motor. Now, I'll get into this in a little bit, but this is a, it's powered by a 500 watt 48 volt motor that's pretty good now something i'll take you here and show you on this you have the chains that drives and then you have a chain that comes off the motor that drives the back axle now on my e-bike that gets extremely dirty so something with the trike you don't have all the stuff spinning up and getting dirty in there now you can see i've driven it around in the snow, there's no slush, there's no dirt, your battery, so you can lock it on and off. Some signal lights, some reflector lights. Most important part of these bikes, there's actually two, your battery, your motor. So far, I think it's a good system. You, can, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's built pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think, and then, you know, all these slide up parts and, and all these connection parts, I really looked, looked them over. So far, they look really good. Uh, the brakes, another good one. I noticed the brakes are almost like hydraulic brakes. I'll let you know on that too. But they're very easy and they work well. Now, the assist. It is powerful on this bike. When this is on five and you get, so on any e-bike, it takes about a quarter of a rotation and then it kicks in. I can actually just hit the throttle and not have to pedal and it goes which is a good feature too, because if you know if you have a load or something on, it's nice. I kind of like to press the throttle and kind of get myself going. So that's a bonus. Okay, on my e-bike, I do not have any um, carrying compartments. This is essential. Awesome unit for hunting. You know, if you have a gun on, stability. 
Okay, another thing. It comes with every tool you need to assemble this. So if you don't have tools, you don't need them because they send everything to you. Also, it comes with a battery charger. So in the instruction it in the instructions it tells you, you know, you plug it into your wall, you plug it in. So there you have it. This little port right here. Actually, we're gonna turn this battery off. Plugs into here, that goes into the wall, so there's a lot of cables, so that's pretty good. But let's see, you can actually take let's see how it easy it is to take the battery off. Oh yeah, it's easy. So if you go in somewhere, take your battery with you. Or if you want to charge it and you don't want to leave it on the bike, you take it in the house. Now, my recommendation is you do not leave these out in the winters. These are lithium ion batteries. They don't like the cold that much. So my e-bikes, I store the batteries inside. So let's put that there and it has a nice little key. Now the difference is too, and I like this, mine, you turn it on and off with the key. This one is just to unlock it. This one has a, a switch. And I think that's a better system. So definitely an improvement. So the maximum speed is 50 miles an hour, 25 kilometers an hour. Load 150 kilograms. So that's like 300 pounds ish. Uh, battery type lithium ion, 48 volt, 14.5 amp hours, dual wheel hub motor. This is big, 500 watts, 48 volts. Some of the important points for me are your motor, your battery. The, the braking system so far is awesome. Uh, you know what? I really don't have any complaints so far. And it comes with this nice little, uh, you know, you put something in there, you can hold it down. It was pretty easy. You know, it's pretty basic. And my experience is the more things you have, the more things that are going to break. So simpler to me is better. So there's your... It's, power assist you want i had most of the time on one now let's go to menu trip volume not really sure what volume is so that's the time odometer i haven't even put a mile on it yet one thing i like to look see what the range is see, and i'll let you know right on the screen right here it doesn't say and they probably don't tell you that because it depends on a lot of things. Um, when I was going through the, the powers, everything works smoothly. So far guys, this thing is awesome. I would recommend it. But like I say, I'm gonna ride it and I'll give you or so. I'm gonna give you another lowdown. As long as we don't get too much more snow, I'll be riding this around and I will give you this. But as far as the quality, and everything how it is built i think it looks pretty good if you're interested in something like this description hit the link and there'll be a discount code and all that stuff in there for you so i'd like to say thanks to moon cool for sending me this i think it's an awesome unit and we're gonna we're gonna try it out you see everything is pretty rough around here so it's gonna get a workout and i will definitely fill you in on how this is holding out. Woo! This is fine!